The title of this chapter is Holy Ambush. 那今天的主题呢？今天的啊、uh, 主题是神圣的伏击，或者说埋伏。So if Jerry is ambushed, then Jerry has nowhere to run. Jerry is brought against the wall. When you are ambushed, means you are not planned. It comes to you as a surprise, and you got no, you cannot be, you cannot do anything else. You can't escape. You are trapped. So that is the meaning of. ambush。那如果说 ambush 就是说啊，当你被伏击或者袭击的时候，是你无路可逃，你没有预备好的。So we always look at the word ambush as a negative word, but today we're calling it holy. Like similarly, we look at the word fear negatively, but there is such thing as holy fear. And who can say amen? So we are looking. We, we I want you to have a brand new mindset in regards to the word ambush, pertaining the word of God. So it's called Holy ambush. 那可能我们会看这个啊、um, 伏击呢，以一个呃啊、uh, uh, 不好的方式来看。可是我们有神圣的伏击，就像我们好像如果恐惧的话，也有一个神圣的恐惧一样。So we are sorry, we are blessed with thirteen thirteen verses. It's kind of short for those who don't really like reading. So you know,、oh, thank God this week. Okay, thirteen verses, thirteen. Precious verses, but let's see how far we can go. Let's kick start with a verse one. 那约伯记呢？只有十三节。And the word of God. Everybody say or type the word of God. Yes. Okay. We we forget sometimes. We forget. We call it. We take the word of. We take the Bible. We take the the precious holy Bible so lightly. We forget that it is actually the word of God. It is actually the voice of God. It is not just some book that is laid in the shelf to collect dust. It's the word of God. Okay, so we need to remind ourselves. We need to remind one another what you're hearing from the pulpit is not just some word, but the word of God. And this week from Job chapter two. 那今天神的话语呢，不只是是神的话语，不是随便的一本书，是神所要对我们说的话。And the word of God says in verse one again. There was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord. 那第二章第一节又有一天，神的众子都来侍立在耶和华面前，撒旦也来到他们中间。And do take note in the Old Testament, sons of God is always referred to angels. Okay, in the New Testament, we say sons and daughters of God. We are talking about believers in the New Covenant. In the Old Testament, when you read sons of God, it's referred to angels. And also bear in mind that Satan. Is an angel or was an angel, but of course he is a fallen angel. 那啊， uh, 在旧约呢，神的众子呢，就是代表啊、uh, 天使。那我们也要注意，就是说撒旦其实也是天使，但是他是堕落的天使。Okay, let's go to verse two. So if you're wondering why Satan was there, because Satan was an angel. Okay, sons of God is his one of the sons of God, but yet he's not a holy. Everybody say holy angels. Everybody say holy angels. Holy. holy angels are the ones who did not fall, and they are also another group of angels. They are angels, nevertheless, but they are fallen angels, and their leader, their chief, has a name, and his name is Lucifer, and he became Satan. Okay, but yet we all we often forget. We often forget that Satan was an angel. God did not create the devil. Satan, this angel. This holy angel chose to go against God, and he became the devil. But yet, originally, originally he was an angel. He was a son of God. 那其实有两种天使，那就是神圣天使跟堕落的天使。那啊、uh, ，Lucifer 呢，就是啊、uh, 堕落的天使。Okay, let's go to verse two. Okay, this 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 chapter is very、uh, exciting. Okay, this chapter is not about is not is not about God trying to confuse us. We take time. We allow the Holy Spirit, who is a perfect teacher, He will teach us this week. And who can say or type Amen? Who can say or type Amen? Yeah. 
Verse 2, and the Lord said to Satan, Where do you come? Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro on the earth, and from walking back and forth on it. So if you uh, we're not going to display the, the next verse, but if you want to check on, uh, you want to do a little research and check and understand the phrase Son of God in the Old Testament, you go to Genesis chapter 6, verse 2, where God spoke about the sons of God, which is angels, the sons of God, which are fallen angels. They took women as their wives and then they had sexual intercourse with those women, and that's where the Nephilim came about. Okay, that's another sermon altogether. Okay, so so the, the sons of God, not the holy angels, but the fallen angels who are also referred by the Bible as sons of God, took women to become their wives. All this is in Genesis 6. Okay, and then the wives produced hybrid babies. And they were, it's in the Bible, they call Nephthalene. Everybody say or type Nephthalene. Come on, say it. Nephthalene. Okay, they are not, they're half human half angels that's not god's creation okay that's yeah as i said another sermon altogether 那如果你想知道神的種子呢可以在啊創世紀第六章第二節跟呃認識更多他們一半是呃神一半是人 so that's how we know that sons of God refers to angels including the fallen angels because the bible called them in Genesis 6 2 sons of God and they did evil because one third of the angels from heaven followed Lucifer. Okay, Lucifer was an archangel. Followed Lucifer and went against God. Okay, and they came and they, they were no longer holy angels, God's servant, but they became fallen angels, servants of Lucifer. Okay. Okay.那三分之一的那个天使呢啊跟随了Lucifer，所以他们是堕落的天使。and I want to bring up one important point here from these two verses that we read. There's always a, a misunderstanding. How many of you seen seen on social media where you I've seen this many times where there is a picture of Jesus and Satan doing the hand wrestle? You see, Jesus, can you show Jesus and Lucifer doing that? Have you seen that? That's stupid. That is not biblical. That is not true because why? Because Jesus and Satan is not at par. No way Satan can, can fight. Jesus is God. And who can say Amen? Type Amen. Can someone say Jesus is God? Okay, so there's no such thing. Like when you see that kind of image, we, we, it's trying to present as though there's good and bad at war. No, no, no. Satan is under the feet of Jesus. And who can say Amen? No way, there's no equal. You heard that song before. There's no equal with God. Not even Satan. And Satan has to come to God and cow down and report to God or even accuse the brethren. So don't ever think that, oh, there's two equal powers. No, no way. Satan is not equal to God. Satan is under the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ. You've got to believe and say amen. Come on. Amen. 那这里要说的是，撒旦跟耶稣是不平等的，他们不是一样的位置的。撒旦是在耶稣的脚下。So you see in those verses, God did not go to Satan, and says, uh, but Satan came to God, the, the fallen angel, the son of God. He came to God and gave his report. And the Bible calls in, and, and you go, we want to show you the verse again. You can take this down in the book of Revelations, chapter twelve, verse ten. You will see that one of Satan's names. Listen. Satan has a lot of names. And, and this, this sermon is not about glorifying this ridiculous, ugly, the devil. No, it's not about that. But it's good not to be oblivious to the truth who Satan is. You need to know who Satan is. Not to be afraid of him, but to, to know where he is. So in the book of Revelations, chapter 12, verse 10, okay, you will see, you will see the word of God tells us that Satan has one, one of his many names. Is he's the, the accuser of the brethren. Anybody heard that before? Have you heard that this name Satan has a lot of names? The father of lies. Lucifer. Okay, the list goes on. And one of his 
names and you will catch that name in Revelation 12 10 one of his names is he is the accuser of the brethren brethren means Christians brethren means uh, believers he's always finding ways to accuse and call us bad names and tell us calling out our sins and things like that so yes yeah, so he the re major reason why Satan, that's, that son of God, that fallen angel, went to meet God is to accuse Job. Yeah, so I'm not sure if he still has the power because we live, we are now living post Jesus time. Remember, Job was living in a pre Jesus time. Are you listening? So, two different eras. So, some scholars say it's different now. There's two school of thoughts. I know I'm speaking a bit, but just give, be patient. There's two school of thoughts. Sometimes after Jesus, post Jesus, Satan uh, has no rights to face God anymore. But some scholars say, no, he still has. So, so that's something I'm not going to give my opinion. But the point is, I'm trying to bring up here right now is Satan is busy accusing us. Just as he did with Job. Satan hates you. Okay. Uh, Satan has a lot of names. The first name is we... Um, and I always say this, you heard me say over and over again. You try to fight the devil, you lose. But you allow Jesus to fight the devil for you, you win. In fact, you won't win. You already won more than 2,000 years ago. And who can say or type, Amen? Come on. You won. Okay, but for those who reject Jesus, and it's not enough to be a Christian. You got to believe in Jesus on a daily basis. Just wearing a cross doesn't make you a Christian. This is a symbol of Calvary. Okay, you got to believe on a daily basis that Jesus is a billion times stronger than Satan or any other spiritual powers or physical powers or emotional mental power. So you fight the devil, you lose. No wonder a lot of Christians are losing. But you allow Jesus Jesus to fight the battle for us, we win because Jesus already won. In fact, Jesus did not just does not just win the little battle. Jesus won the ultimate war 20, 2000 years ago. Who can say hallelujah? So get close to Jesus. Stop being a fool to run away from Jesus. Cling to Jesus because he fights, he fought, he will continue to fight. Satan for us, and we will see a victory. 那如果我们身为信徒呢，如果我们用自己的力量来跟啊啊撒旦来征战的话，我们肯定会输的。但我们要依靠上帝，上帝会为我们征战，他是啊没有人可以比的，撒旦是比不到他的。所以如果靠住
God doesn't simply call any Tom, Dick and Harry a servant. You do not serve God, God doesn't call you a servant. You give your remaining time to God and little, little time, you think God's going to call you a servant? God calls Job a servant. It means Job is truly serving the Lord. That's the first thing God describes Job. And that's the kind of description we want to hear coming out from the mouth of God for us. I read that again. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? That there is none like him on the earth. A blameless and upright man, says God. One who fears me, God, and shuns evil. And this still he holds fast to his integrity. Although you incited me against him to destroy him without cause, God is super proud of Job. Now, we look at the third verse. Yehovah asked Satan, "Have you not noticed that my servant Job is not like any other man? He is perfectly upright, blameless, and upright. Even though you have taken me to the extreme, you have not let him go free. 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 上帝是不随随便便的叫任何一个人仆人的。那约伯就是他的仆人。So I wrote something here in regards to that,、uh, my immediate response to that verse which I wrote. I'm going to share with you. Almighty, listen. Almighty God loves all of us who can say or type Amen. amen. <laughs> who can say or type Amen? amen.、Uh, Almighty God loves all of us, but He is not necessarily proud of all of us. Did you, did you get it? He loves all of us for sure. But he's not necessarily proud of all of us the way he was with Job. Because that's what I wrote. Yeah, I read that again. Okay, Almighty God loves all of us, but he's not necessarily proud of all of us as how he was super proud and confident in Job's love for him. 那全能的神呢？全能上帝是爱我们每一个人的，他不代表他为我们每一个人感到骄傲，但是呢，他对约伯呢，啊，对他的爱呢，是感到非常自豪的。Away from this truth is this: collaborate with the Holy Spirit in our lives and say, "Holy Spirit, teach me how to make Papa proud." As you walk out of this sanctuary this morning, this could be one of your biggest grandma word. You know, we work so hard to make people proud of us. All of us fall in that endangered ground. Oh, I want to be. I want to make my my mom proud. I want to make you know. I mean, that's not that's not evil, but let's. Let's go this path of saying, Holy Spirit, from now onwards, after the sermon, after the Sunday, teach me how to make my Papa proud. That from today, start to tell the Holy Spirit, come to the Holy Spirit, and ask him, how do I make my Papa proud? And how I broke this like a few characteristics of Job that came out of the mouth of God Himself. Let's read it again. 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 Let's read it So so as, so as I read this, I want you and I to think about ourselves. How is how are you faring in the area of serving God? But that's the first thing God said about Job, my servant Job. Okay, so the first one is Job served God. So how, what about you? What about me? In the area of serving God. How are we? What's what's the the health of your ministry life? How are you serving God? So think about it. This is not to question anybody, but to question yourself. The man in the mirror. 那第一个点呢，就是说约伯侍奉上帝，让我们每个来自我检讨一下，我们是否有侍奉啊上帝，服侍上帝。The second thing about Job that God praised. Now put it this way. Job had a high standard in the way he lived his life for God. Hence, none can be compared to Job. That's what the Bible says. That's what God says. I read that again. Job had a high standard in the way he lived his life for God. Hence, no one on this, on the earth, on the earth at Job's time, the, and the Lord says, can be compared to Job. So the keyword is high standard. So how high is your standard in the way you live your life for God? Is it low? Is it middle? Or is it like Job, super high standard he had in the way he lived his life for God? 那某个程度上呢，约伯呢，啊，他是语无伦比的，因为呢，他活着，他的标准，他为上帝而活的那个标准是很高的
So in your workplace, do you have a high standard of godliness? Or when you go to work, everybody start cursing, you also curse. You forget that you're a believer. Everybody laugh at dirty jokes, you go, ha ha ha, you also laugh at You have a very low standard. You have a very low standard. So not, not check other people's standard here. Check your own standard. I am responsible to check my standard. Okay, then I can act like a, little, like a holy little reverend here when I get out there. Am I still the same? How's my standard? How's my standard? How's your standard when you get out there? When there's nobody to say, Amen, Hallelujah. When you're on your own there. How's your standard? The next phrase that God himself described Job was Job was blameless. You cannot find anything that Job did. You cannot blame Job for anything. Job was blameless. How about me? How about you? Can people say, oh, Colburn is blameless. I know Colburn. He's blameless. Oh, Shalini is blameless. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that should be our desire. That should be our desire to have, to have these characteristics of Job. And we can hear God say, oh, this is my boy. This is my girl. Okay, so this is not to make us who are blameless. Oh, I, I, my standard is solo. No, this is to motivate us to move forward and who can say or type amen. See, I want to have the spirit of God. You so what's the next way God described Job? Job was upright. He was upright, similar to blameless, but if you go deeper, they're not exactly the same. So Job was not just blameless. Nobody can blame me for anything, but James Job was also upright. It refers to living a righteous lifestyle. And what's the next one? I'm, I'm basically uh, teaching from verse 3. Okay, that's where, I'm, that's where I am. The next one is God calls Job someone who feared God. He feared God. The, the only person Job feared was God, not his wife. <laughs> Job shunned evil, protected himself from evil. He knows that place is evil, he doesn't go there. He knows that website is evil, he doesn't go there. He knows that Korean drama is teaching him evil, he doesn't go there. So Job shun evil. That music speaks about horrible stuff, he doesn't listen to that song. So Job shuns evil. How many of us are shunning evil? On, on the other hand, how many of us are running to evil? You know that's not a good person for you to hang out with, but you, that's the person you go to, to chill. And, and you're going to chill for ministry, hallelujah. But if you know, if you know and you know and you know and God knows, there are people in your life that you know, they are just, you're going to meet them, gossip will take place. You're going to meet them, sexual talks today. And you go to them, you should shun the evil. You should shun the evil like Job. And last but not least, God describes Job this way. Job held fast to his integrity. 
那最后一个呢，就是啊，约伯坚守他的诚信。And the integrity can also be defined as honesty. Job was not a liar. If you, if, if Dickentina owe me money, she owe me one hundred, and she accidentally give me two hundred, I'll say, no, Dickentina, you owe me hundred only. Take back your one hundred. So Job was a man with integrity, honesty. He doesn't lie, he doesn't cheat. He has integrity. How is our integrity health? Each and every one of us. 那约伯呢,他是有诚信的,他不撒谎,他是诚实的。如果有人家欠我们一百块,他还我们两百,我们会告诉他,你只欠我一百。And all of us need to know this by now, the prince of this earth is the devil himself. Okay, please know this, uh, it's in the Bible. Uh, the prince of this earth is not Jesus. When we accept the Lord Jesus Christ, he becomes the king of our individual lives. But this earth at large, this earth, Jesus is not the king yet. The time is going to come and Jesus is going to come. The time is coming when Jesus is coming and he's going to be the king and he's going to rule. Who can say or type amen? amen. Yeah, but right now, Satan is not the king. The Bible calls him the prince of this earth because humanity, of course it began with Adam and Eve, we surrendered, we, we all involved, we surrendered this earth authority into the hands of Satan, the same one here, who's accusing Job. Alright? So the, the one who's in charge of this earth is not Jesus yet, but Jesus is in charge of our lives as individuals because we believe in him but it's earth so the point i'm trying to bring you at is this listen it's not easy to be like job it's hard to serve god to have high standards to be blameless to be upright to fear god to shun evil to hold fast now because the enemy is constantly working satan is the same he wants to steal kill and destroy hey don't fear God. Hey, stay with evil people. The enemy is doing that. It's not easy. That's why we need this sermon is also to bring our hearts to I need to be close to Jesus. Satan is the prince of this earth. I can't handle it. You cannot afford to stay away from Jesus. You have to spend time with Jesus every day. You go to work, the enemy is there. Wherever you go, the enemy is there. He's a prowling lion. He's not a meowing, cute pussy cat. You want to steal, kill, and destroy. So we need Jesus. Come on, tell the person beside you or type, I need Jesus. Come on, tell each other, I need Jesus. You need Jesus. Satan so it's not enough to say I need Jesus, it's not enough to type I need Jesus. It means something. When you say I need Jesus, you got to mean it. And to, to declare you need Jesus is to be present in church on Sunday to hear the word. To declare that you need Jesus is to spend time on the word of God every single day. Are you listening? It's not every time they can have it, I need Jesus, I need, but what do you mean by that? Actions speak louder than word, words. Faith without actions is dead. Who can say amen? amen? Okay, so when you say, I need Jesus, it's not enough to just open that mouth. I need, anybody can say, even Satan can say that. I need Jesus. A puppet can say that. I need Jesus. But you've got to live a life that declares you need Jesus. So take church seriously. Take the word of God seriously. Take praying seriously. Take fasting seriously. Take forgiving seriously. Take the things of God seriously. That's what it means to say, I need Jesus. Now, if we say we need Jesus, we need to take action. We need to We need to for skin. Yes, all that a man has, he will give for his life. Satan is saying, <laughs> you know, of course, of course, Satan is just accusing, disgusting Satan, and he's the same huh, today. Huh? That's how he is. You need to know this. 
He's just as accusing Job. He says, of course, you know, he will do, he, he has his life, his life is amazing, he has a good wife, he has children, he has money. And by the way, Satan, uh, Job is truly a blessed person. Are you listening? In his time, he was so blessed before he was ambushed. So that's where come the holy ambush. He had everything, he had the best car. He had the, the most beautiful wife. He had everything. He had amazing. His life was superb. So, so Satan told God, of course. Of course Job will love you. Of course Job will worship you. You know, but he will do anything to keep his life. Let me, let me, let me ambush him. Let me ambush him and see whether he will remain the same to you, God. So that's what this verse is all about. Okay, I read that again. So Satan answered the Lord and said, Skin for skin, yes, all that a man has, he will give for his life. So as long as he's secured, you know, he will continue to worship him. Can you read that? And uh, uh, 第四节, Sarah 回答, 耶和华说, 人以皮换皮, 宁可付出他所有的一切去保密 其实这里讲说呢, uh, 约, 约伯在之前呢, 他的生活是被祝福的, 他, 啊，没有一样东西，他是缺的。那撒旦呢，是要来啊诬告约伯，是说他现在当然是很美好的生活啊，看你怎么做，他会被啊来背叛你。And let's let's see what Satan continues. But stretch out your hand, God, and touch his bone and his flesh, and he, Job, Satan says, ah, Job will surely curse you to your face. 那第五节呢，就是说，只要你伸手伤害他的骨和肉，他一定当面亵渎你。Okay, one thing I want us to learn from this verse. Okay, long story short, we know that Job didn't curse God on his face. Who can say hallelujah? Okay, until the end of the book of Job, Job stayed a believer. Okay, Job stayed a good believer up to the end. Job didn't say. Job didn't do what stupid Satan said that Job is going to do. So one thing to learn from here is this. Satan doesn't know everything. God knows everything. God is omniscient. God knows everything. God knows that my Job is not going to do that. God knows my Prajiv is not going to do that. God knows my Amanda is not going to do that. God knows Satan doesn't know. And sometimes we make a mistake by thinking that Satan knows all things. You can learn from this story, this history, not just stories. When you call it story, it sounds like a fiction. You can learn from this history here, listen, that Satan doesn't know everything. So why fear him? He likes to act like he's omniscient. Okay? He likes to act like Satan, like the way he talks. I'm sure, I'm sure Job is going to curse you at your face. But God will be smiling. But of course, God's heart was also breaking at the same time because, you know, Job, is, his, his precious servant Job is going to go through hell on earth by the ambush. Because ambush is not easy. Okay, when God allows, everybody say God allows. When God allows it, when God allows something, when God allows something, then only it's holy ambush. God allowed Satan. God allows something. Okay, and we cannot question God because God is God and we are not. Okay, when God allows something and it's your hit against the wall, like can't move anywhere, I'm being ambushed, then you can call it holy ambush. Do not simply call anything holy ambush. When God allows you to be swallowed by a whale, when God allows your brothers to throw you into the well and so to be sold by a slave, you get what I'm saying? Come on, you get what I'm saying? Yes or no? When God allows it, even if it's a horrible experience, being thrown in the well by your own brothers to be sold as a slave, okay, to be swallowed by a disgusting, slimy whale, Job, Jonah, okay, so when God allows something horrible, you don't want it, but you have no choice. It's called holy ambush, but it's holy. It's good. God is still fine. God is still loving. Okay, so we can say it simply. Satan himself is smart, but he doesn't understand. Because 
约伯所面对的事情呢，是上帝所允许的。就像啊、呃，其他的那些啊、呃，比如说约瑟啊，他被卖去当做奴隶啊，约拿、啊、掉进那个金鱼的肚子里面呢，这就是神所允许的。See God, Job did everything right. Everybody say he did everything right. Come on, he did everything right. So this this is not a punishment. This is a holy ambush. Okay, you need to catch this because in other words, we need to learn that holy ambushes does happen in our holy holy ambushes do happen in our lives, but we don't simply call them. We God will reveal to us. Okay, that's why Job had the revelation. God is allowing this to for Job. You read the story of the life of Job, you will see that Job gets it. I know God is allowing this, but it's painful. I'm suffering. It's so painful. Why am I going through this? It's so painful. I don't want this. But he never cursed God, because Job understood that it is a holy ambush, and God gives us holy ambushes for a reason, not to punish us. But there is a reason. We will find out. Job found out at the end. And we will find out. So don't fight with God. Be like Job. When a holy ambush is, you are in a holy ambush. Don't fight with God. Joseph didn't. Joseph was sold as a slave, end up being seduced by his boss's wife, end up in prison. Jo Jonah, sorry, uh, uh, Joseph left the temple, lived a temple. He was ambush upon ambush upon ambush upon ambush. At the end, Joseph said, "What? What did Joseph say?" If all these ambushes, I'm paraphrasing it. If I were, if I have not been ambushed this way, I will not be able to save my own family. Okay, what in this this powerful phrase? What man, man for evil, but God turn it for good. And who can say Amen? Who can type Amen? Hallelujah. 那么约伯呢？他所面对的这一切呢？他没有去诅咒上帝，因为他知道上帝是有啊他的原因来让这些事情发生在他的身上的。就包括我们所说的啊约瑟啊，他被关进啊啊啊监狱里面呢，他知道这也是有神神美好的旨意的。Verse six, and the Lord said to Satan, Behold, see, so we can see God allowed, <laughs> God allowed. That what kind of God is that? He is God, and you are not. Shut up. He is God, and I'm not. Edmund Smith, shut up. God allowed. And the Lord said to Satan, "Behold, he, Job, is in your hand, but spare his life." So God still has the last say. Satan can only do what God permits. Okay, so. At the end of the day, we know that Satan is still a slave. Okay, so God has the last say. 那我们看第六节，约和华对撒旦说：“好吧，他在你手中，不过要留存他的命。”那这里说的其实是上帝有最后的说话权，最后的决定。So、someone here could be thinking, could be thinking, "Hey, but Joseph and Jonah, maybe, maybe there's such thing as holy ambush. They are Old Testament believers, but I'm a New Testament. I'm in the New Testament. I'm post. Paul was ambush. How many of you know that Paul experienced so many holy ambushes? Do you know the life of Paul? Do you admire the, the apostle Paul? Yes, no. Come on, yes. Paul's ambush. In fact, Paul's journey began with an ambush. Paul was stricken. Zoom! He became blind. Did Paul choose to become blind? He was ambushed. He lost his sight. He became blind. He was ambushed. So God does yes, holy ambush even in the New Testament. So all and holy ambushes is not just in the Old Testament. Not just Jonah and Job and Joseph. They are all J. Okay, but also in in the New Testament, you will see how New Testament folks. Were also experiencing holy ambush. One of them would be Paul. He was thrown into prison. God allowed that. I mean, how how many of you know that God could have protected Paul from being thrown into prison? Lift your hands up. Lift your hands up. You believe that God could have protected Paul from being in prison? Lift your hands up. But did God protect Paul from being in prison? No. He was trapped. It was a holy ambush. So God does allow 
believers Old and New Testament to experience holy ambushes when we need it. 那上帝呢是让不只是旧约的人甚至是新约的人也是会遭受到他所要让他发生的事情就如保罗这样他失去了他的双眼他的眼然后呢他也被关进牢里这些都是神所允许的 so I want to read this. Joseph was so okay. I'm just describing the different kinds of ambushes. So you can, you might be able to identify it in the future if, I mean, God forbids, but if let's say you have to experience a holy ambush, Joseph's ambush was him being sold as a slave. Jonah's ambush was he entered into the will. Paul's ambush, the first one was to become blind. Okay, and Job, he lost his health. He lost his family. He lost everything. That was Job's holy ambush. 那我们所说的神圣的福基呢神圣的袭基呢有四个例子可以看就是说约瑟他被卖当作奴隶然后第二就是约纳他被丢进那个金鱼的肚子里面第三呢就是保罗双目失明然后在这里呢我们所说的约
humbly accepted the reality that now he is in a holy ambush and, and just humble. And the next word here, set. Set means he rested. So while you are in a holy ambush, you need to sit and rest and not murmur, complain, go on social media. You know it's unfair, unfair, unfair. No justice, no equality. You got to just take some pot shed and just sit down and wait upon the Lord to know that God is still in charge. And who can say amen? That's what we need to do. Just like Job. That's how. Be humble and be rested. Even though it's difficult to sit down, and, but, that's, that's, but that's the best thing to do. Be humble like Job and then sit down like Job did. 那第八节有两点呢，一个是说啊，约伯拿瓦骗瓜自己呢，这里是告诉我们约伯其实他是很谦卑的，他知道这些所发生的事情呢，他接受这些事情。然后第二点就是说约伯坐在灰烬中，他
Okay, that's what Job is saying basically in Edmund Smith style. Shall we indeed accept good from God? Job says, huh? shall we indeed accept good from God and shall we not accept holy ambush? Shall we not accept holy ambush? In all this Job, come on! In all this terif, terif, terrible holy ambush, Job did not sin with his lips. 那第十节我们可以看到约伯怎么回复他的妻子可是约伯对他说你说话像个愚妄的女人难道我们从神得福也不应当受祸吗在这一切事上约伯并没有用口犯罪 so the remaining verses is also very important, but because of time, we're going to stop now. The remaining, the remaining verses speaks about three of Job's friends coming to Job and what they have to say about Job's holy ambush. You know, so go back and read it. In fact, we can read the whole book of Job. Powerful, magnificent book that we can be so blessed. Now, uh, Look up to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus.